So you guys, we are leaving. I'll be, I am leaving. <laughs> so I'm leaving to Alberta. It was fun in Vancouver, but I need to go to my final destination. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're having fun. Oh, this place was really nice. People are really enjoying yourself in this, in this Canada. Mm -hmm. Some people will be doing... Okay. Some people will be doing... Hey! Some people will be doing a uh, video. Don't come to Canada. <laughs> Meanwhile, some people are here enjoying their life. And uh, the best way to describe it is that uh, Nigeria, so Canada is hard mode, mm. Nigeria is legendary difficult. As so, <laughs> so if you can survive in Nigeria, yeah. don't worry, you will survive in Canada. Exactly. Is it here? Yes. Yes, here. Yeah. Yeah. Take a look. Hi. Take a look at the reason Hi. for the season. <laughs> you guys, I just entered. Food, food's already on the on the plate. Ah, like, no time, no time. <laughs> no time to say no time. Because I'm sure they're hungry. Yeah, I'm not even that hungry, but it's looking very fresh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Looking very fresh. My own face. My own face is even rougher than your own face. Eh? It's, I used to rub a skin. Yeah. Ah, you used to rub a skin. When weather comes dry, like just mm. keep your skin. Let me remove my jacket. Uh, rub Vaseline. Mm. <laughs> rub, you know, add oil. people say it's coming dry and flaky. So mm. leave makeup, leave all those yeah. things. I started having to like moisturize for real, for real. Well. Biloni, onye di kashi, chopin and spend. There is no mercy for money. Makawai, onye di Hey, you guys, I want to show you all the things that I brought to Canada. I've given my sister in law all her own. I couldn't film that video yes that day in her house. So I want to just film the one I bought for my sister, okay? okay. I'm excited. Yay. <laughs> so uh uh come on, Cerilac all. Junior. First of all, I brought Woo. Cerilac Junior. For oh, oh, they need to pay you. Yeah, you guys, I like joining to pay me extra, pay extra. Back again. Because I have, at Your least you have one. <laughs> at least you have one one customer that I am very, very sure of that. Kaito, Kaito, come and see. Kaito, come and see Sarah Junior. Do not, do not buy for Kaito. So it's Sarah Junior I brought for Kaito. Sarah Junior! Yes! Isn't that true? Isn't that true? Now we're back on what? You start asking me for Sarah Junior. Okay, let me just keep things on what? Okay. So, hey. I carried food, I carried oha soup, and ofensala, I say ofensala, and ofa and moi moi. I couldn't carry plenty moi moi, yeah, I brought moi moi for you. I couldn't, I couldn't moi carry, moi it's frozen. Yeah, I couldn't, see, it's still very frozen. I couldn't carry plenty moi moi because of serious? space, so I just oh brought my, three. Oh I had God. to give a reminder that three. Hey. Thank you. Hey! That's ofa, huh? Hey! Hey! hey. Ah, this one is going straight into fridge. Hmm? Yes. No, no, oh, okay, you don't want to eat it anytime soon. Okay, it's true. Sorry, it's a toy bit. Okay, don't eat it every Even if I want it to toy, so we can now separate it. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, and so I brought Ofa Kuo all the way from Nigeria. Authentic 
a disease of a co. As you know, no, but see, no cap. Your offer, uh-huh. offer is like the best I've tasted. Thank you, thank you. Like, I'm not even joking. Do no, know. I told you then. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. That's what I cooked it. I was like, like you're, you're, the way you get, you do the fish, everything. Uh, like, everything is always on point. I don't know. Even when I eat, I'm like, yeah. Even when mommy came, when mommy ate my mommy and then the offer her, she was like, ah, it was so nice. I said, thank you. I know. So, I bought chin chin. I bought plantain <laughs> chips. I bought, see, uh, I brought some dry leaves. You know, you told me that okay, I should yeah. not really buy, but I was like, let me just buy and see. Oh, when this thing came, I was like, what is this? Okay, this. Okay. This dry scent leaves it looks black already. That's that's what happened to me too. Eh, that's why you say cook it to not be black in yes. your food. My own, I have to trash my own. Mm. I, I bought, just I bought the liquid, the frozen one. Okay. Yeah. From, from which from which makes sense. Yeah, which is. Good. You can even try basil, say. If you use basil to cook, yeah. it's similar. Similar, not exact, but it's similar. Um, basil. So this dry scent leaf, this plantain chips, and this chin chin. No, oh, it's barely. Well, one, one was 24 kg, but they didn't say yeah, anything. Yeah, not the part. I was now regretting remove. What did I remove? I removed a goosey and I removed one, one or her soup. So I wish I had just put it because one was 23. In Nigeria, they are nice. When you are going back, they don't need to hear me. Mm. Then this is fish, Ooh. dry smoked ah, ah. catfish, and this is stock fish. So I didn't bring plenty of other things because when you're here, I don't know if you're a fish person. <laughs> I gave some to every man then, Eddie. But I know that you're not really a fish person, so. I'm not eating fish, which is weird. Eh. Then, there's Zobo! 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 Yeah, I brought Zobo. Okay. I couldn't bring plenty of all this in front of that space. Then, Otazin. Then, beans flour. I brought beans flour. So, these are making. Sorry. Making akara in the morning instead of it to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you drink it, young guy? Okay. Buy it here. Ah, okay. Oh, it's bite here. I buy it here. If I know it's bite, I would have brought. Eh. I would have brought something else now. Eh. Eh. Oh, this is okay now. Hmm. So I bought ijebu gari. Then I bought this one. Are different spices. There's obono. There's black pepper. Yes. Oh, you like obono? You have told me I have brought all the ones I had at home. I was so I bought it just I mean I'm not sure you would like it, let me just bring. I forgot. I did not when, when, next time. Yes. Uh Colombia was telling me that I should make sure I find out what you really need. Uh-huh. So um spices, there's up there's pepper soup spice, there's um um dry cocoa yam, there's different orishi rich shah that's inside here. Hey, hey, so we can make up on like tomorrow or something. Then this is crayfish. This is crayfish and this is yellow pepper. Okay. Then there's granuts and there's kuli kuli and there's uziza leaf. Yeah. Me, I was even waiting for somebody to, go, to ask me questions. I was waiting for them. <laughs> at the airport. At the airport. I was they waiting. Come in, they don't discover. Do you know eh, my most stress was in Nigeria? The biggest stress of this journey was in Nigeria. Then this is dry lemongrass. I, uh, I always avoid Lagos. This is dry lemongrass, so when you're cold, you can drink it, you can mm-hmm. add it to your pepper soup. Like you can cook it, boil it, put the water in your pepper soup. Okay, like tea, I mean. uh, like tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just brought it just in case. If you see me, I was preparing for cold there, you'd think I was going to uh, Antarctica. <laughs> uh-huh. Then this is dry sima pap. Yeah, I got the dry one. Yeah. Uh, you know the normal, the one that's not dry is very heavy. But, yeah, one of the reasons why I even dropped the oha was. I don't know why I dropped one oha was. I made the oha very thick. So in every man's house, I boiled meat, now mixed everything, now remixed it. That's why I could share two and you still, you still got one big plate. I made it very thick, yeah. like I put plenty of ingredients, but not enough water. And uh-huh. I came here and remixed it. Um, I don't know if they use the rules to serve for me, but even yeah, though that one was nice. Is, uh-huh. Even though that one was nice, I was. As in. Like, some of the green free adverts. Sorry. This is. I hate to tell you, I see any red lipstick you see on my lip, just know it's the rule. No need. It's not even bother. So, I bought dry mango. 
and peanuts. Somebody in the uh, plane, not plane, in the airports in Nigeria said, uh uh, don't they have change in there? I said, Antina, for children, please close my box and beg. <laughs> this, like, this cream now is shea butter cream. So it's basically the same thing, this one is soft as rub. So, but this one too is weak. So you, rub, you can rub the two if you want. Oh, yeah. So, nice. so I also got shea butter cream and shea butter, whipped shea butter. So this is for you guys. You see how I'm so happy to offload there, cause. Are you hearing your voice? What did you say? Can I use your junior? Yes, you yeah. can. Anything yeah. you want, baby. Oh, oh. Your chest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I brought some things from that big pack. I got one big pack, so I brought it for my sister. Yay. I brought my own paracetamol. I wasn't sure. I just brought it. Oh, you take paracetamol? Yeah, I want to have a big. Sorry. Which is very awful. Like very very awful. And Tato, hold on, okay? Your mommy will make it for you, okay? I can't wait, okay? Uh -huh. oh, I'm here now. And my has So in here I have earrings. I had to bring plenty of earrings because I know that I don't know how they sell earrings here. Try for children. So I just brought plenty. And, and funny enough, when you were just telling me now that the one that Kosi is wearing is one Kosi I wore for Kosi since Nigeria That's interesting Okay, I bought some of your makeup stuff mm. Yeah, I bought hair stuff for, for Kosi Aww. From Aliexpress, I was just packing, packing, packing It's plenty, I don't want to I don't want to bring out the whole pack, but all, everything here is hair Different hair Orishi, Rishi She is looking to Washed out. Okay. Different hair, Orishi Rishi. Okay. Then there's more. This thing, there was this thing was in a container before. This uh, rubber was in a container, but I couldn't pack well, so I just put this inside here. Then I brought some. Sorry, Kosi. I bought some medication. No, is it medication? Vitamin C, sha. Then I also bought lemon seed for myself, just in case. <laughs> I said I came prepared. Hi, Kelsey. Sophia's sister. The oh, only Sophia color. Hi. Color is any different between you and Sophia. If not, I'm a bit twins. Twins say attitude. Attitude. Okay. So, I bought um, attachments and stuff. So, that's basically most of it. Yeah. Attachments and wool. This wool for Kelsey's hair. Yeah, attachments for. Bring his hair and we're good. Hey guys, so I know some of you are wondering how I was able to carry cooked food. I carried two soups, Ofaku and Ofaoha and Moi Moi. Yeah, I brought those things to Canada and you know my flight was the whole journey was almost was more than 24 hours basically. Like the journey from when I put those things inside my box to when I got to my brother's house, it was over 24 hours. Okay, so um, I just want to tell you guys how I was able to pack this stuff and how I was able to carry it without anybody stopping me or asking me questions or it's being thrown out or checked or whatever. Anyway, so I think people, I think one of the biggest things people are always confused about is what is allowed and what is not allowed, you know, for you to travel with when you're coming to Canada, right? Or when you're going, traveling, basically, it's not, just, it's not just Canada. I think the rules apply generally to most places. Okay, some places might have one or two things that you know they differ in, but for gen for generally, you know, the rules are the same, right? So basically, I think it is largely a no-brainer, okay, what you should carry and what you shouldn't carry, okay, largely a no-brainer. I wanted to say it's intuitive, but not really, because if you haven't been traveling that often or if you're not someone that has been um trying to find out the information, it might not be intuitive to you what is right and what is wrong, right? But largely, I think everybody knows what you shouldn't, what you should and shouldn't carry. Okay, so things like drugs, things like I mean by drugs, I mean like hard drugs, um, things like um, you know weapons and stuff like that, like or chemicals. I mean, obviously, you know that you shouldn't be carrying those things to travel, right? But the things that are kind of gray area are things like medical, like your medications right so you can carry medication but you can't carry all medications so medications need a prescription it's not like most countries are not like nigeria where you enter pharmacy and ask for codeine and ask for you know antibiotics and stuff like that in many countries 
Okay, I'm going to say in certain countries, but whatever. <laughs> but in many countries, those things are on prescription only. Okay, that is, you have to be prescribed those things for you to be able to get them. Okay, and you cannot, even even though it's on prescription, you can't be carrying unhealthy amounts of those things, except again, if you are prescribed those amounts. Yeah, so for instance, even though I am being prescribed antibiotics, I cannot be carrying two cartons of antibiotics. Like, where are you going to with that? What, what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Are they trying to? Are you trying to? Like, are you? Are you from space? Are you an alien that they are trying to to kill that much? You know, uh, uh, what they call it. Anyway, basically, all I'm trying to say is that you have to carry like a reasonable amount of things like that. Okay, so things in general. Okay, things in general. So, for instance, I am one person traveling with two boxes. I cannot fill my two boxes with attachments. Like. It's an unreasonable amount. You're going to ask you questions. Where are you going to? Like, it means that you're actually trying to sell. They will think or they will assume they're trying to sell those things. Okay, so a little bit of it here and there. Even if you have, like, I carried almost, I carried two packs of wool. It's still within reasonable amount. But imagine if I filled my two boxes with wool. They will say, uh -uh, auntie, where are you going to? What are you going to do there with all this wool? So, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so um for what is prohibited all those gray areas are like things like medication you can get off the counter medication you can carry off the counter medication without prescription things like paracetamol vitamin c all those things i carry i carry vitamin c i carry paracetamol i even carried iron supplements and some other supplements basically most supplements are not you know prescribed you know so you are allowed to carry those things except you are carrying one that is not fda approved or something i don't know but basically you're allowed to carry those things okay um what else again are you not allowed to carry in your hand luggage you can't be carrying large amounts of liquids you know perfumes um drinks whatever it is you can't carry large amounts of it so the minimum or so i think the one that tsa allows in most places is 30 ml anything above that you will have to give it to them okay except in cases where you're carrying a baby like your baby's milk your baby's food they might not not they might not they won't they don't like even if they stop you you can always tell them that it's my baby's food like <laughs> what do you want to do okay so if you're carrying kids like for instance if i was coming to canada with my kids i would have the leeway to carry more things because if you disturb me i'll tell you that that's my children's food so yeah if i were carrying my kids i'll tell them that these things are specifically or these things are for my kid this is a tailor to my kids diet or something like that shall that's what i'll just say right okay because if i'm carrying my kids even if i'm locating to wherever how do i know that my kids are going to like what i, I find there and how do i know they're going to even if they're going to like it they might not like it immediately okay they might have to eat what they are used to for a while while i now introduce the abroad food okay so when you have kids or when you're traveling with kids especially when you're traveling with babies like you can carry almost anything food related baby food related is what i mean right because some people say that um, dairy is not allowed but if i'm carrying my children and if i'm carrying my baby and my baby has specific milk needs okay maybe my baby is lactose intolerant my baby is one thing one thing you can't stop me from carrying milk for my baby okay so that's for um you know food related items i think that's it right so some people say don't carry meats you're not allowed to carry meats um and fish and some other things right i feel like don't quote me anywhere, I'll be cool. Now, JJC, I'll be okay. Now, I'll be correct, JJC, so don't quote me anywhere. But I feel like what they are referring to is raw meat or unprocessed meat or, you know, cold cuts and stuff like that. Meats that can basically transport germs, okay, like serious germs. Meats that can transform, that can, that can breed like serious serious deadly viruses and not very viruses bacteria or something like that okay so cold cuts um unprocessed meat raw meat i don't think those things are allowed however inside your food that you are eating i don't think they would disturb you for that okay because i carried soup and i carried meat inside my soup even though i tried to remove the meat in fact the reason why i was removing the meat in my soup was so that i could get more soup into the container Okay, because if you go and pack all your meat, except the ofaku, the container for ofaku was quite big, so I added the meat like that. But for the oha soup, the oha soup, the containers were small, so if I had packed meat inside it, you know, the, the plates would become full quickly and the actual soup would not enter. So I had to remove a lot of meat and just pack the soup very well. I even made the soup very thick, so I just packed the soup very well. When I got to my sister-in-law's house, she gave me meat, I just boiled meat, added the soup, added more water, 
you know, a little bit more. Did I even add pepper? I don't think I added anything, but I just added more water and I added the, basically the mixed water. I used it to just cook the soup again. So <laughs> I had to go and attend to my niece. So yeah, um, there's some things that I carry. Like for instance, you can carry oporoko, that is dry stock fish. You can carry dry fish, catfish, azopo, all those cut cut fish, asa, all those kind of fishes, right? So why can't you carry meat inside your food if I can carry dry fish? Like, and I, we, we cook our food very well. So that's my own personal opinion though. Like I said, I am a JJC. Don't take my word for it, okay? So now when it comes to the packaging of the actual food, there is the frozen food. First of all, you cook your soup beforehand. I cooked my own like a week before. Then I put it inside snapware. All these, what they call them now? I don't know if they have a name. But mostly all these containers that you can snap it short, right? They are basically airtight and you can snap them short. Yeah, there's an actual brand called snapware. But there are different types of snapware. Okay, different brands of snapware. Um, I think Hobby, Hobby Life has some. You know, the different brands, right? But just try and get good ones. I bought mine from my one market in Port Harcourt, but you can get them in stores. You can get in places like Next um, every day and places like that, okay? So you can get them. So get proper snapware, put your soups inside, you know, lock it short, snap it short, and then put it inside the freezer. Make sure you have, you know, we, we have constant lights because our freezer is hooked up to our inverter and solar, right? So our freezer is always on. But if your freezer is not always on, I don't know how it will work for you. But me, our freezer is always on, so I like it, I, it was frozen kakaraka like zuma rock okay now after it was frozen i just left it there when i was now ready to leave like 30 minutes before i left or even some minutes before i left i brought it out from the freezer then wrapped it in cling film okay you guys know cling film those ones are like nylons that just cling anyhow i wrapped it very well in cling film like i finished almost one cling film on all the food right i wrapped it very well in cling film then i now put it inside a thermal bag okay so thermal bags are basically lunch box <laughs> what we call lunch bags for for children basically lunch bags thermal bags they're just bags that have a lining inside that keep your food at the temperature you want so if you want hot food is to keep your food hot if you want cold food is to keep your food cold right so they have those linings inside them and they come with a zip and you know their insides are lined very well their bodies are thick okay the actual covering of the body might be cloth but the inside has this um nylon like plastic we like call it plastic or almost like foil it's not foil but it looks like foil you wrap it inside right i mean it, it's that's how the inside is so you put the food inside and then you now zip it now i went an extra mile i used boxes and not ghana must go so i don't know how it will work with ghana must go i intend to use ghana must go the next time i'm traveling because if actually if i have if i'm traveling with my kids and stuff like that I, and i'm going to have more allowance i'm going to definitely buy ghana must go but because i was just traveling with my two boxes i didn't have that much weight allowance i decided to use my box like that because it's easier for me to wear my box and to carry Ghana must go so inside my box i lined my box with bubble wrap right I, I bought like two yards i bought two yards of bubble wrap i lined my box with bubble wrap i just opened i wish i had filmed this thing but i was in a hurry when i was doing it so i lined my box with bubble wrap then i put the um, thermal bags inside and then i sealed the bubble wrap so basically i wrapped all the thermal bags inside an external bubble wrap i did all this just in case one food because man was even um, food melting there's this condensation that comes with frozen things like basically like water that is outside the body of the frozen thing okay you guys know what i'm talking about when you keep uh, frozen juice on the on the counter there's water that comes around it it's not it's not from the juice it's from condensation so i was just thinking that for something that is that frozen if it stays long the condensation is going to be much and it might actually start leaking and people will think that the food is leaking meanwhile it's just condensation so that was why i put that extra bubble wrap as extra protection so i thought to myself bad as it bad if water comes out of the thermal bag it will be inside the bubble wrap and it will not come out of my box so that was what i did and now close the whole thing and now zipped my bag and headed for the airport did anybody ask me anything about it no except in nigeria where they open your bag what's in magician why can't for i say it's for children it's food yeah, why can't change it why can't that one anyway they didn't really ask me much in fact the ones that were asking me we all know what they were asking for we all know why they were asking me for all those things we all know so 
can we skip <laughs> this? Can we skip? Can we stop pretending and just go straight to the point? Anyway, that was what happened. And I now, you know, carried it and entered. Now, the good thing about this whole thing is that when I got to Canada, okay, let me just tell you guys what happened when I got to Canada. So when I got to Canada, I signed myself in, like you check your, not check, no, what you sign yourself in? You basically pass, pass through immigration, but the immigration is um, digital immigration, okay? I didn't go, I didn't talk to a, an immigration officer, which was fantastic for me. Like, you do that in Nigeria, hey, many people will resign now from immigration because that's where they chop their money from. Many people will resign. Anyway, so I didn't talk to any immigration officer. I just went to the computer and he was asking me questions, which I was just answering. So there was actually a part where they asked, did you carry any raw or cooked meat, raw or cooked fish, raw or cooked one thing, one thing, bubble tea, bubble plenty of things. And I ticked yes, because I carried cooked meat, which is inside my soup, right? So I just ticked yes for the whole raw or cooked, raw or cooked. I ticked yes. My ticket came out. After I finished, I printed out my ticket. I took my ticket, went to the um, the place you pass, and I handed my ticket over to the immigration or the person I was standing there, the immigration officer as well. But just handed my ticket over to him, and I passed. That was it. Nobody stopped me. Nobody asked me anything, okay? So, yeah, like, I don't think it's such a crime for you to carry cooked meat if that meat is cooked and inside a frozen food that has been kept well i feel like the reason why they are going to disturb you is if you go and wrap for instance you gonna wrap raw meat i don't know like it doesn't even make sense why you carry raw meat from nigeria but let's say you're gonna wrap raw meat or lightly cooked meat or something i don't know i don't know anyway um yeah so that was it and the good thing is that when i got to my brother's house Everything was still frozen. In fact, everything was still frozen kakaraka. Like you would think I just brought stuff from my freezer like one hour ago. It was still frozen. Even when I came to um, Alberta, Edmonton, when I got here, it was still frozen. That is, I kept it in my sister's house for the, my sister-in-law, my brother's house for the two days. So when I was coming back here, it was still frozen. In fact, the West Jet I entered, my sister told me that they are, where they keep the boxes is usually frozen. Because when my box came, my box was frozen. I was not like, hey, is it that my, the food inside has melted and it's not making the whole box frozen? I was actually scared though. But I wanted me to open the food and the food was frozen kakaraka. So she said that where they store the boxes is actually very, very, very cold. Someone told her. So my food did not even shift temperature. It was the way I brought from Nigeria. It tastes the same. Everything the same. So that's it. That's it. This is, I didn't want this video to be too long. I was just coming to add addendum to my vlog, but that's that's how I carry the food, and it was good. So yeah. So if you want to carry your food, just make sure you wrap it tightly and you wrap it well and just pass in boldness. Nobody's gonna stop you. Okay. The only reason they will stop you is if you get start doing it anyhow, you know, and then or if you start packing the food anyhow, because yeah. Anyway, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.